Well, good Thursday morning to you folks. Hopefully you had a good night's rest and things are going well with you. I'm going to read to you today from uh, one of my books, Then Sings My Soul. It's a little devotional book that tells us the story of the song as well. This song was written in 1834. The song is called The Solid Rock. Edward Moat was born in poverty on January 21st, 1797 in London. His parents, innkeepers, wouldn't allow a Bible in their house, but somehow Edward heard the gospel as a teenager and came to Christ. He eventually became a skilled carpenter and the owner of his own cabinet shop. One morning he recalled it came into my mind as I went to labor to write a hymn on the gracious experience of a Christian. As I went up to Holborn, I had the course, On Christ the solid rock I stand, all other ground is sinking sand. In the day, I had four verses complete and wrote them off. On the Sabbath following, I met Brother King, who informed me that his wife was very ill, and asked me to call and see her. I had an early tea and called afterwards. He said that it was his usual custom to sing a hymn, read a portion, and engage in prayer before he went to meeting. He looked for his hymn book, but could not find it anywhere. I said I have some verses in my pocket. If he liked, we would sing them. We did, and his wife enjoyed them so much that after service he asked me as a favor to leave a copy of them for his wife. I went home and by the fireside composed the last two verses, wrote the whole off, and took them to Sister King. As these verses so met the dying woman's case, my attention to them was the more attested, and I had a thousand printed for distribution. In 1852, Edward, 55, gave up his carpentry to pastor the Baptist Church in Horsham, Sussex, where he ministered 21 years. He resigned in 1873 in failing health, saying, I think I am going to heaven. Yes, I am nearing port. The truths I have been preaching I am now living upon and they'll do very well to die upon. Ah, the precious blood. He passed away at age 77. Here's an interesting verse from Moat's original that is omitted from most hymnals today. I trust his righteous character, his counsel, promise, and his power. His honor and his names at stake. Tiscase me from the burning lake. On Christ the solid rock I stand. All other ground is sinking sand. Well, pretty good story. I uh, had never heard that story, but I think as I read what he says, the truths I have been preaching I am now living upon and they'll do very well to die upon. So important that we uh, understand um, there are a couple places for us to go when we die. One thing about it, we will all die. We won't all go to the same place. We could all go to the same place either way. We could all go to heaven. We could all go to hell, but we won't. Uh, God sent his only begotten son to die for us and it was through and by that death and burial and resurrection that we can have an opportunity to make heaven our home, to be redeemed by the blood of Christ. Let's give this song a shot here. I said the last time these words are little and my eyes are having a little bit more trouble with them, but let's see what we can do. My hope is built on nothing less than Jesus' 
blood and righteousness. I dare not trust the sweetest frame, but wholly lean on Jesus' name. On Christ the solid rock I stand, all other ground is sinking sand. All other ground is seeking sand. When darkness seems to hide his face, I rest on his unchanging grace. In every high and stormy gale, my anchor holds within the veil. On Christ the solid rock I stand, all other ground is sinking sand. All other ground is sinking sand. His oath is covenant, his blood support me in the whelming flood. When all around my soul gives way, he then allows my hope and stay. All Christ the solid rock I stand, all other ground is sinking sand, all other ground is sinking sand. When he shall come with trumpet sound, oh may I then in him be found, dressed in his righteousness alone, faultless to before the throne on Christ the solid rock I stand all other ground is sinking sand all other ground is sinking sand on Christ the solid rock I stand all other ground is sinking sand it doesn't mean there's not other ground to walk on <laughs> there is and you make your choice and I make mine um, just as this gentleman made his I find it interesting that this man's parents wouldn't allow a Bible in the home and he came across scripture when he was a teenager so that shows the importance um, of years ago people would hand out tracts uh, maybe you would see them uh, on the sidewalk handing them out. I remember Brother Brad Harris said his grandfather, uh, Homer Harris, would uh, hand those out, uh, always handing out tracts. Um, there's a way to reach people. Uh, we may not all do it the same way, but people need to be reached. And this young man was reached for the Lord and then uh, spent years pastoring and teaching and preaching the Word of God and writing these songs. So we can be thankful for that. Lord, we thank you for the day that you've given us. God, I pray that you would bless, Lord, from this morning, this afternoon, this evening, whatever this uh, day holds for us. God, we don't know. We have plans. We're getting ready to leave out the door now and start the day and thinking of all the things that I have to do and I may not get any of those things done. I like a woman that I that I call and pray for her family weekly. And as I speak with her about her mother and about her care, uh, she will generally pray, God help Pastor George to get the things done he needs to get done and the things that he does not get done. God, I pray that you would bless and take care of those as well. And every time she prays that for me, it's a blessing. God, I pray that for these folks that watch this and listen to this. Uh, sometimes we get busy. Sometimes there are things that we uh, tend to um, have to leave out or maybe even forget. But God, I pray that you would bless. Help us to understand that we stand on the solid rock. There is uh, no other ground we would want to stand on today. We love you and we thank you in Jesus' name. Amen. Thank you, folks. See you Friday.